Well, hello everybody, this is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the Team 405 being back together on No Prep Kings Season 7. Now, photographs are likely to the photo owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, ever since Season 3, I believe, they started pushing the teams on NPK, even though the championship was still individual. But... They really pushed it back in Season 3, Season 4, and Season 5. And the 405, thanks to Ryan Martin, has three No Prep Kings championships. So that's really good, really interesting, and people really liked it. Now they switched the format to a team format with different racers on every team doesn't really matter if they were from NOLA or 405, etc. And people really didn't like that. Even though Ryan won again, not surprisingly at all, he had several racers from different states or from different teams as they were portrayed in previous seasons. So this year, the championship is back to individual. Allegedly. We still haven't really seen exactly how it's going to be but from what we know it's going to be individual and if that's the case then we're going to go back to the old format that was applied in season five and previous seasons so this means that we might see team 405 again team nola again and some of the other teams that we saw before like team outcast which became another team as well team x and of course, Dean's List, etc. We've had a lot of different teams over the years on NPK. I would like to see Team Attack again. I really enjoyed that and it was really fun to see. So let's see exactly what happens this season. And Team 405 could actually win another championship if they're going to make it that way. If one driver from a team wins, then... 405 wins or NOLA wins, etc. So it's going to be really cool. I'm very excited for this season and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. It all starts next week. So roughly in 10 days, we're going to have the season opener at Maple Grove. And there's a lot of new cars like every year, but everybody is faster than ever. New rules, new engine combinations. So it's going to be one hell of a season. And let's see individually how everybody does this season. But Ryan is faster than ever. Justin Swanstrom has a new car that promises to be faster. Kai Kelly now has a handle on that new car. And I think he's going to be faster than the last season. And we got new rules. So can't wait to see which team comes up on top. Either Team 4 or 5, Team NOLA, or let's see what other teams actually come up. So, let's see what happens.